the world is suffering from a serious crisis that is not being recognized by the global population the global waste crisis is a massive threat which has been posed due to the poor collective management of waste around the globe let me give you guys a glimpse of what the world around us has turned into huge piles of garbage lying around in dumping grounds plastic waste floating in our oceans pollution through the thick chemical smoke from burning plastic and other trash material openly in the air these are some of the situations we're facing daily due to not following proper waste management methods trash or garbage when not disposed of properly will lead to devastating effects on the environment and human health in the coming future most of our disposed plastic finds its way towards water bodies such as the oceans this greatly affects the marine ecosystems of our planet according to a study plastic waste has been found in every species of sea turtles and in more than 25% of the fish sampled from all seafood markets around the world furthermore all of the toxic chemicals present in the waste we dispose of in the marine ecosystem can be absorbed into the water bodies damaging the natural chemical balance of the marine ecosystem due to this most living organisms like corals and other tiny fish have little to no chances of survival improper waste disposal is also harmful to human health when this same waste is directed towards water bodies our water is contaminated with various harmful pathogens and toxic chemicals these water bodies can be the same source for our everyday drinking water diseases like cholera dysentery and leptospirosis can be spread and can cause epidemics in a huge population human generated waste is steadily increasing we have constantly dumped garbage in landfills to the point that we have no land space to utilize anymore humans are expected to generate about 3.4 billion tons of trash annually by 2050 We won't have any dumping grounds to hold off all of this excessive amounts of garbage in the coming future. It's time that we realize that we have to face our lack of responsibility towards our methods of waste disposal and work towards sustainable solutions. It is also becoming harder for our governments to manage and monitor waste production. It has now become our responsibilities as citizens of the global population to follow ecologically friendly methods of disposing garbage and to encourage everyone around us to also follow the same. One of the best ways to reduce waste is to not produce any waste at all. There are many ways through which one can reduce the amount of waste they generate. They are generally grouped into reusing or reducing methods. Reusing is a method of waste management where a material is used over and over again in its current form. In this method, alternate uses for an item is found rather than disposing of it. And the reducing method simply is to just abstain from purchasing any goods that contribute to the generation of waste. One way to to reduce the amount of waste we generate is to purchase used products. Instead of constantly shopping for new products, buy items that have been used by other individuals. This limits the production of new goods, meaning no resources are wasted. Furthermore, used items are cheaper to purchase and are just as good as new items. Purchase items that can be reused rather than buying items that can be easily disposed of. By purchasing such products, we reduce our waste generation gradually, which really does help in the long run. For example, instead of buying a plastic water bottle during every lunch at your workplace, carry a steel water bottle to office every day. Purchase items with lesser amounts of packaging in order to reduce the waste of unnecessarily ma- unnecessary materials. Repair items that are not functioning. For example, if an electronic is not functioning as intended, repair the item and continue to use it for a longer period of time. Repairing items improves functionality and stops them from being replaced frequently. Now we move on to recycling. Recycling is defined as quote the process of converting waste materials into reusable objects to prevent the waste of potentially useful materials to reduce the consumption of fresh raw materials, energy usage and air pollution and water pollution. 
by decreasing the need for conventional waste disposal and lowering greenhouse gas emissions compared to plastic production the process of recycling has three main steps one collecting and processing this is where recyclable waste is collected either through community kit recycling bins or recycling centers two breaking down this is where the recyclable waste that is collected is broken down into raw material and three production here the broken down raw materials are used to produce new goods why is recycling important you may ask well there are many benefits to adopting recycling as an everyday habit firstly recycling reduces the need for landfills waste materials are kept away from landfills as when they are recycled they are turned back into raw materials that are going to be reused this reduces the disposal of waste that reaches landfills second it saves energy lesser amounts of energy is required for products that are made using recycled materials when compared to products that are made from raw materials that are extracted from scratch it also reduces the demand for natural resources every day natural resources are used to make products like glass paper and metal these products can also be easily made using recycled waste through this the conservation of natural resources becomes easier some common recyclable items are aluminium foils cans steel and tin cans and all of these items can be melted and molded back into any other desired shape for resale cardboard and paper can be recycled easily even items such as magazines newspaper and office papers are common products that can be made into paper again paper can be recycled up to 6 to 7 times until the fibers in it become too short furthermore glass can also be recycled but usually there are hindrances due to the color of the glass that's being recycled and now finally the best way to reduce our waste footprint is through teaching sustainable life skills to the future generation by instilling a sense of responsibility among the future generation we automatically teach them the three methods of waste management by providing education for sustainable development children learn the importance of managing and developing a sustainable sense of thinking which prioritizes the safety of the planet's natural environment as the sustainable development educational panel report stated in 1998 could education for sustainable development enables people to develop the knowledge values and skills to participate in decisions about the way we do things individually and collectively both locally and globally that will improve the quality of life now without damaging the planet for the future good we're not all born with sustainability skills we all need to learn them by encouraging the upcoming generation to make sustainable life choices the children of our future will become expert reducers reusers and recyclers education and information is vital to improving the situations on our planet knowledge is power everyone is able to make informed decisions in order to improve our ecological balance on this planet we have a population of 7 billion and we live on a planet with very limited natural resources our only choice is to live sustainably together in order to save our home the earth education for a sustainable future teaches us that our choices have implications on the planet and the environment around us all we need to do is change the way we utilize natural resources and the cha- and change the way we work towards a sustainable future it is our choice now as humans and individuals every action that we take has an impact on this planet both locally and globally it's time we save our home it's time we become responsible